So hello and welcome. So this is be a video about Uni or VIM uh, packaging materials inside Unity. So I'm using Unity 2018.4 right now, but anything 2018 and above should work, just work fine. All I have inside the scene is some basic um, shading setups. You can say apply some of the new shaders, some twin shaders, and some characters. So I'm using some of the new some shaders from the Unity VIM packaging ready on this character, and we have a two pieces of plane in front of the character that's missing some material information. So importing the packaging inside Unity first. Go to create material. To create a new material we can name it something. Something. Brilliant. And we can just drag these two material onto the missing material planes. Just to showcase what each of the shaders does and stuff like that. So let's go to shaders and we can notice something a new tab of here called VIM. VIM, yeah. VIM tab. That's not here before. That's all these five shaders here are all new from the Uni VIM packaging. You have M tunes, unlit cutout, unlit textures, unlit transparency, unlit transparency Z right, which is basically just a better version of the transparent. So let's go to M tunes first. One of the most noticeable things about M tunes are in comparison to all the other ones, or uh, the unlit versions of it at least, M tunes actually react to light. And all these doesn't. So if you have a texture with that has a wool on it, something like that, and or whatever to supply or any of these shaders. If the light condition changes, it will not change. So you can just drag the light around, you can just see the conditions the light on, all these models is changing. All these have um, M tunes turned on right now, and for more drastic effect, I can apply this um, shaders also on the skin texture, which basically apply that texture as well. You can just see. The shadows and lighting of the model changes according to light changes. You can see, uh, clicking on the materials, this lit option and the shade color under M tunes. So all the lit areas in the model, or the light touches for the model, is going to show this color, and all the shadow area is going to show this color. Of course, you can change it, drag around and stuff like that. There's no limitation we can do or not do. If you have textures, you can drag that in there as well for the character model. Drag it in there, and what these would do is it serve as basic overlays on top of your texture. So that's pretty neat. By just changing around the shading shift, um, you can just change how the lighting is processed. Another thing we want to get into though is a call mode. So we had call mode, we had back, front, and off. What this space is telling Unity to do is to what to render. So that be the front face of your model, the back face of the model, or just both. By default, it's tick to back. So that's telling Unity to render the front faces of the model. So that'll be the blue areas inside of Blender. And if you change to front, it render the back side of the model, which is good fun. So the inside of the model. Um, which is very nice looking, and you can turn to off, which will render both sides. So if you go over here and look at the back of the plane, it also shows well. Well, if I go to go to just back, you can see it goes gone, gone. But if you go to front, you will see it. And if I go to front again, you can see previously I was it's gone now. If I go to this way, you can see the back side of this plane being rendered and the front side of the plane being not. Yeah, and go to off. Both sides are rendered now. Off um, by rendering by setting to off, rendering both sides will use more CPU power, obviously. And setting to one these two, rendering the, rendering the back or the front, will use less CPU power. But for something like the skirt um, for a character, which I did an oopsie on, only has a single face, I will turn it. I'll do the back coloring to off to render both sides. Otherwise. Typically on a single character, you kind of just want to set it to the back because usually don't, you, don't, you don't really see from inside the character outwards. So yeah, just adjust it to the thing that you need to. It doesn't, it's a thing there, and then feel free to use it. Next thing I want to talk about is the rendering type. Opaque, cut out, transparent, and then transparent. Z right, whatever that means. <laughs> um, opaque means just a solid color. There's no transparency, whatever, and stuff like that. Let's go to cutout, and I think that's better demonstrated if I use this texture, um, this texture over here. So what this texture basically is, is yeah, it's a PNG of alpha with a red dot in front of it. Let's put out the Photoshop file to see a bit better of it. It's basically just a single red dot, uh, 
in the middle for a bit with transparency and there's no background color also these are all transparent areas so it's a PNG with alpha information so uh, click on the material and drag in this texture with the alpha information to the lid areas I guess it's not really that good of a show um, for the skin or whatever so I'm going to drag back the skin texture um, if you don't want the textures just hit none no dots but yeah I'm just going to apply back to my original skin texture for the character and just be keeping this material on the two planes in front so we can drag in this texture to this area and this area and that will basically do is that you can see in the original photoshop file you can see how this like it goes fades out a bit more what the cutout does is basically it either you can see it or you can't it there's no in between so it pushes to one side to one stream or pushes to the other side to the stream then creates a solid color yeah if you go to transparent you can go back and see the alpha transitions over again which is very nice so this is how you create brushes um so this is how you create like blushes for the character or whatever and there's this transparency so z right i honestly don't know what difference is between those two but yeah there's like you can apply or whatever transparent cutout opaque which has no alpha or doesn't read any alpha information let's go let's move on from uh, M tunes to all the unlit stuff. So let's go to unlit cutout. So what it basically does is basically the same thing as the M tunes of the cutout. It does read alpha information, but as you change the lighting, you'll notice it just doesn't change. It just doesn't budge at all. It just, you change everything, and nope, everything is still the same. Good old days. <laughs> so let's click back on here and let's transfer back that to unlit texture so what this basically does is it has no alpha information it just shows the texture straight up so when you change the lighting it will just keep this texture as it is no shadow information it won't create any shadow information it just show the texture as it is like you're drawing if you're drawing a character with sh shadows for them and you, don't, you just have a singular lighting setup and you just drew the shadows for your character because you think that looks nicer instead of having everything render 3d understandable some 2d stuff do generally looks look a lot nicer than 3d render stuff uh, a bit more artistic i suppose so yeah if you want a trader that just shows your texture or well, any transparency or just doesn't change to what's just lighting setups inside the scene use this one let's move on to the next one though can the materials to change the settings of that and we go to Transparent. Hooray! So now we just basically have the same thing. Read the alpha, have a transition between um, the alphas, but doesn't react to lighting. And we just now he lost. And this with the C right. I often think it looks a bit nicer. This is a single transparency. Let's change between those two again. So this is the Z right one, and this is a normal transparent. You see the tongue and stuff like that, everything inside the mouth is showing how this highlight you feel to it. Just go to that and it's gone. It feels like everything is covered in anymore. So I'm guessing what the Z right one does is it kinda kinda hides the internal bits, just make everything out look like a single surface. Doesn't add too much um surface information to it. Which gives a much clean look. I like it. So yeah, back into the um M Tunes one. You can just kind of play around in settings a bit, lighting, whatever this means, whatever this means is emissions, map caps, stuff like that, no maps, you can add on. Yeah, most people just use the M tunes, it reacts to lighting, it's neat, or the other ones doesn't. So yeah, so this is a video about all the shaders within Uni via, uh, via M packaging. Hope this is useful any way possible, I remember struggling this in the beginning. I'm feeling sick today, I can't really explain things that well. Alright, I hope. I hope you have a good day. I hope you're taking care of yourself. And yeah, thank you for watching the video and maybe see you next time. Bye bye.